Jason Franchuk from the Daily Herald here at the Marriott Center on Saturday where it was indeed the classic everybody expected, just not the outcome a sellout crowd at the Marriott Center wanted as BYU loses 83-81 to New Mexico. That's pretty much going to wrap up the conference title for the Lobos. They improved at 27-3, very impressive, especially impressive 13-2 in the conference. They've only got one game left. That's at home at the vaunted pit on Wednesday night. BYU still very good 26-4, but what hurts right now, 11-3 in league play. They've got two games left at Utah on Wednesday, at TCU on Saturday, but it looks like the Cougars might have to settle for second right now. It was a highly emotional, up-tempo game from the get-go. New Mexico was led by Dries Gary's 23 points. Darrington Hobson, the junior college transfer stud, had 20, including a very, very crucial block in Noah Hartsock shot in the last two seconds that kept that lead. BYU had one final chance going for a Hail Mary from half court, but they never did get it off as Hobson made another fine defensive play. BYU was led by a career-high 19 points from Mike Lloyd Jr. He filled in admirably for Jeremy Fredette, who was sick. That was noticeable in the first half. He only played one minute in the second half, so BYU without a potential All-American there the last 20 minutes, basically. Also, Lamont Morgan Jr., the senior, still out. He had senior night, along with Jonathan Tavernari and Chris Miles, but otherwise not available with that knee injury. Tyler Hawes had 18 for BYU. Jackson Emery had 11. BYU, as I said, at Utah on Wednesday. Coach Dave Rose curious to see how the Cougars react after this kind of game in a sold-out arena that was the last home game for the year. BYU will get those two games, go to the conference tournament, and then await their NCAA fate. This one didn't help a whole lot, but who knows with Fredette's absence. I'm Jason Franchuk. Thanks for tuning in. Here's the highlights.